you the 12th Cincy Punk Fest returns to the Southgate House Revival Friday and Saturday. And here with more are Adam Rosing, founder, and Rick McCarty with the Southgate House Revival. And we can't forget Chloe. We've got uh, we've got Chloe here as well. We'll find out how maybe she is involved. Guys, thanks for coming. In. We appreciate it. Thanks, thanks for having us. Uh, 12th annual. How has this thing grown? How has it changed over the last decade plus? Well, it started out as just one day with about eight bands, yeah. and now we are 12 years into it. Uh, we've raised $50,000 for local charities. Wow. And we're looking to expand on that this year with uh, Save Our Shelter Dogs Rescue. It's a all-volunteer organization, no-kill shelter, and they do a lot of great work. I was going to say, I think a lot of people probably don't necessarily think punk and charity, you know what I mean, at the same time. So what was it like getting uh, musicians who were involved sort of in that genre to, to buy in, to, to come in and be involved with something like this? Well, when it, when it started back in uh, 2003, we had all these great bands, we had big crowds, so we thought, we're getting all these great people together, why not raise money for local charities? And yeah. people really seemed to enjoy that, so yeah. it really took off from there. And with the, the Southgate House Revival, is it a natural fit to have all these different bands coming in? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the venue just sort of lends itself to this event because it has multiple spaces that are within walking distance, so you just buy one ticket and you can float around and see all kinds of different things oh, nice. throughout the night. Nice. And so it's like, uh, we think of it as a, a festival, as people know it on the street, but it's contained in one building, so okay. it's easier to manage. Very cool. Now, have you had um, bands come back? Do you have ones that are, you know, come back every year? And how do you go about maybe finding new bands to come out every year? Well, the booking is kind of an exhaustive process. It takes several months, but uh, over the years, there have definitely been quite a few backs that have local and regional that have uh, played and come back and played again. Uh, but we're always trying to keep it fresh and changing and evolving, uh, so the lineup is constantly moving. We we have a group of about seven people that uh, joins forces to decide who's going to play. Yeah. Um, so it's it's very democratic in, in how that's put together. Do the artists sort of enjoy uh, getting a chance to sort of watch each other perform and you know, jam a little bit, that kind Absol of thing? Absolutely. I think a lot. One of the comments we get. Um, again and again is that it's it's a good chance for people to see a lot of their friends yeah. when they might not have the chance because they're playing another show somewhere else. On the road somewhere, so it's, yeah. it almost has the, the feel of a, a reunion of sorts with the local music scene. Okay, Awesome. And tell me again uh, all the info I need if folks want to come down and check things out. Well, it starts off Friday night at Southgate House in Newport, Kentucky okay. on 6th Street. Um, $15. No. $15, $15 a ticket. Yeah. Um, we've got 17 bands each night and it benefits Save Our Shelter Dogs. Um, you can check them out at SaveOurShelterDogsRescue.com. Now Chloe's posing. She knows, we're, <laughs> she, she knows we're wrapping things up now, so she wants to be in the right position. Well, guys, best of luck to you this Thanks week. Thanks for having us. Things go really, really Thanks well. You, you can find more information on our website, Local12.com, and we'll be right back.